Hey, how's it going everyone? Cannabis Express 420 here. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about when to start looking at your trichomes for that development for that upcoming harvest time. And I am also going to tell you how I determine when I am going to harvest a cannabis plant and kind of what the trichomes look like at that point. But without further ado, let's get into the video. By the way, if you want to learn how to grow cannabis and other cannabis tips and things I, you may want to avoid, make sure you hit that uh, subscribe button so you get notified every time I upload Mondays and Thursdays at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. At first there's going to be a stretch for the first two or three weeks and then you're going to start seeing those buds develop and how you're going to see that bud development is little white pistils or hairs that are shooting out of every single node on your cannabis plant and a lot of them will be really developed these are normally towards the top of the plant and some will be underdeveloped small and larfy those will be towards the bottom for the first week of the actual flowering where the bud is taking place around week three or four it is perfectly fine to take off a couple of those bud sites but i would be completely selective because the development point of which the trichomes will start becoming milky isn't until week five or six normally. Now, a lot of the time I will start taking my jeweler's loop or my scope that is about times 60 magnification and uh, looking at the trichomes and keeping an eye on their development from about week five uh, when I expect to at least see a touch of milky trichomes at this point, it will be coming up to a harvest At this point in its development, it is starting to get to the point where it's going to be looking like the trichomes are maturing and filling up with cannabinoids because that is completely the case. For those of you who do not know, there are three stages in which trichomes will develop. At first, when it pops up, they're always going to be clear. This is a sign of immature trichomes that have not yet filled up with cannabinoids and are full of probably just clear liquid that is containing nothing. Next we go on to the cloudy or white trichomes that are completely full of cannabinoids and they are just jam-packed full of that good stuff and this is a sign that they are very mature and eventually they'll get to stage three which is turning amber which is a point in which the trichome is degrading it is over aging at that point and dialing in the uh, approximate percentages is going to be the key of when you determine a harvest a lot of people will wait until there's a approximately 30 percent amber trichomes this will be the point where most growers will determine that the immature trichomes that are still clear are going to have no chance of becoming milky or cloudy at this point in the development there will be a 30 percent amber and then a lot of milky it's hard to say percentage wise what milky ones will be there when there's 30% amber. It is very cultivar specific and there will be a touch of clear as well because those trichomes just could not keep up and did not develop. Maybe they're new and were shot out last minute and didn't have time to mature. It's very hard to tell. Maybe they were just dud trichomes. Personally, when I'm coming up to the harvest point, I like to see a touch of amber but not like, I like to see as little amber as possible. As soon as I see a touch of amber, I like to harvest within about a three day window from when I start seeing amber trichomes. And of course I'll get a good look at a good amount of bud sites um, to where I have a good idea of if the mid buds are developing sort of close to where the top buds are and if I need to give it a couple extra days and just kind of let the top one mature or the top ones mature a little bit later than I would like and then take the mid ones for what they are. But a lot of the time I find that the buds kind of develop, uh, they develop in a very similar fashion, similar to how the bud structure is pretty uniform throughout the plant. 
the trichome development seems to be approximately the same assuming it gets the same light or at least similar light exposure it is also uptaking the same nutrients uh, ratio in the water so a lot of the times the trichomes will develop pretty uniformly and this should not be an issue in most cases so once you determine that your trichomes are developed where you want them to be you are going to either start your flush if you do that or if you decide not to flush or you simply grow organically you can chop the plant down into either sections or as a whole plant to hang to dry and that is where that process will end if you like today's video talking about how to determine harvest and trichome development uh, please hit that subscribe button so you can get notified every time I upload so you can get more videos like this one and if you like this video in particular please hit the like button it really helps out a lot if you guys have any more input questions comments concerns leave those down in the comment section and I will see you next time thank you very much